In the United States, there are 100 million daily coffee drinkers, according to statisticbrain.com. Of these 100 million people, 68% of them drink coffee within the first hour that they wake up. Brewing a French press coffee can provide you with an energizing cup of coffee, and it can save you money compared to going to coffee shops. Today I'm going to show you a method that only takes about five minutes, brewing a, a French press. Sometimes I even do it half asleep. I worked as a barista for many years in different commercial and artisan shops, and I found that the French press is the best method because it tastes good and it's really easy to do. The French press makes about four cups of coffee, so you can share it with your friends. It's portable. You can take it camping with you because it doesn't need any electricity. It also doesn't use a paper filter, so you don't need to worry about running out of anything. As long as you have coffee, the French press, and hot water, you can pretty much do it. So there are some things that you need to know before we start. You're going to need to know the proper type of coffee, the proper grind, water temperature, and timing. So today I'm going to show you the proper method to make a superior cup of French press coffee. The first thing you need to know about is the type of beans. So Arabica beans have been found to be the best type of bean. Um, there's Arabica and then there's Robusta. So I'm going to talk about Arabica first. They're grown at a higher elevation. They're grown between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Robusta beans are grown at lower elevations um, they're grown outside of the tropical regions. It creates a more harsh and acidic taste. Um, the Arabica beans have a better flavor. When it's unroasted, it smells like blueberries. And when it's roasted, it has the flavor that's like nice, soft, sweet, and tangy. These beans can be found at any coffee shop. So if you just go into a local coffee shop, just ask your barista for a recommendation and they'll recommend you a good Arabica bean. Now we're going to talk about the grind. For the French press, you need a pretty coarse grind, kind of like ground oregano. So I'm going to show you here, because that's the best way to describe it. We have table salt here, and then we have the espresso grind, which is really fine, and then the French press grind here that's very coarse. And like I said, it's sort of like a ground herb or like ground oregano for reference. So you can grind it at home if you have a grinder or if you go to local coffee shops, you can just tell them, hey, I need this ground for a French press and they'll grind it coarse for you. You'll need about one to two tablespoons of ground coffee per cup of coffee that you want. So here I have an eight cup French press. So I'm gonna use 10 tablespoons, which I've already measured out of ground uh, coffee. And this is going to provide me with more of a medium, medium like light cup of coffee. So now we're going to talk about water temperature so we can brew. Water temperature is really important for coffee because it can affect the flavor. It needs to be 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. If the water is too cold, it's going to provide a flat and under extracted coffee. And if it's too hot, it will scald the beans and it'll be kind of bitter. So now I'm going to explain to you how to get the right temperature of water. You're going to have a kettle and you're going to bring your water to a boil. Once you bring your water to a boil, you're going to turn off the heat source and remove your water. And you're going to let it sit for one minute. This is going to provide you with the right temperature of water. So today, for time's sake, I'm going to speed things up to show you all the steps. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our beans in. We're going to take our 195, 205 degree hot water. And we're going to pour just enough to cover the ground. So that's going to be about up to here on the French press. Then you're going to set your timer for one minute. After this timer goes off, you're going to pour the rest of the water in, leaving enough room for the lid to go on. So I'm going to stop about here. And that's about here on the French press. Then I'm going to place the lid on. I'm not going to plunge it though. I'm just going to place this on to keep it warm. And I'm going to set my timer for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. The whole entire process of making a French press should last about 4 to 5 minutes from the minute that the water hits the beans until you're ready to pour your first cup. 
Timing is important because it's going to provide you, if you have the correct timing, it's going to provide you with the cup that's not bitter, it's going to have a sweeter taste and you're really gonna like it. When the timer goes off, you're gonna slowly plunge the French press. Then it's important that you hold the lid while you're pouring your coffee. You don't want it to spill out. So you'll pour your coffee and now you're ready to take your first sip. So you're gonna try your coffee. And if it's not to your liking, then you may need to adjust. I mean, coffee's an art, you're gonna have to take some time. Um, if it's under extracted and weak, you might need more time, you might need more coffee. If it's kind of bitter, maybe try lessening your time. So now we've gone over all the steps, but let me simplify it for you, because this has been a lot to take in. So how to brew your French press. First, you're gonna get one to two tablespoons of coarsely ground Arabica beans per cup of coffee and place them into the bottom of the French press. You're gonna use 195 to 205 degree Fahrenheit hot water, pour just enough to cover the grounds, and then set your timer for one minute. After the timer goes off, you're gonna pour in the remaining water, place the lid on top, and then set the timer for three minutes and 30 seconds. When the timer goes off, slowly plunge it and then you're ready to pour it and enjoy it. So this could become a part of your daily routine and it could be a, t a way to start the day off right.